Hi, in this video, I'm going to be upgrading the electronics in a 24 volt, 80 pound thrust Minn Kota Riptide Pro trolling motor. Now, I did some testing to find out why the motor wasn't working, and this is how I fixed it. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is the trolling motor that I'm going to be working with in this project, and I already tested it using a 24 volt battery setup and it does not work with the standard wiring so what I'm gonna do is disconnect the top of the head unit and take a look inside okay so I've removed the top of the head unit and inside you can see the control board in here that's attached with these four screws here and here and then you have your connections going down to the prop unit the positive and the negative here and then you have your other ones here going to the control board and then up here you have your potentiometer switch which is the old style ribbon type instead of the newer model types where they use the three insulated wires so the next thing I need to do is test to see if the board is any good and what I'm going to do for that is Disconnect the positive that goes directly to the motor and the negative that goes directly to the motor, which will bypass this control board. And then if the motor spins, that means the board is bad. I'm going to be using a 12 volt battery for the power source for this test, and it'll work fine just to see if the motor's going to spin. So coming up to here, I have my connections. Here's the positive that goes directly to the trolling motor, and here's the negative, and here are my power source connections. So I'm going to apply power to it and see if the prop spins. And you'll be able to see down there. All right, so I have everything hooked up except for the power. So if the prop spins, that means the control board is bad. Okay, so the only thing I need to do now is I'm going to take a picture of it just to make sure I know where all the connections are, and then I'm going to remove the four screws that hold the control board in place. Now I want to show you where the numbers are so you can order the replacement parts. Right here, this little sticker says 218-4003, which is the part number. And then there's also one here that says 218-4003, revision A. So now I'm going to remove the old head unit from this trolling motor. You can see the bolts and screws I need to undo. Okay, so before I install the control board, what I wanted to do was slide through this hole in the base section of the head unit the positive and negative connectors that are going to be attached at the control board and what I've also done and I've used marine heat shrink connectors on it I've also slid over some of the provided shrink tubing and I'm not gonna put anything locked into place which is what you'll use this for by putting it up in the hole and then clipping it around your wiring. I'm going to put this in first, the control board, and get everything lined up like it is in this one for my positive, well, negative here and the positive here, where it's going to connect onto the circuit board and get my lengths right. And once I have that, then I'll go ahead and clip in the plus and minus for the trolling motor battery. Now that I have the board positioned over the wiring, which is sticking out here, I'm going to use the four screws provided. And you notice one is a little machine screw and the other is a sheet metal type screw. And two of these are going to go in the front here. 
and then the sheet metal screws are going to go in the back part here. Now this is different from this setup here, which had four of the longer screws, one, two, three, four, to put the control board in. Okay, so I put the control board in and I've run my wiring through there already. And this is the positive connection from the battery that attaches here to the control board. And the negative side of the battery goes to this connector on the control board. And there's a schematic that comes with the kit that will show you. So now that I know that all these things line up, I'm going to go ahead and make the other connections for the trolling motor and test it out before I go ahead and close everything up and heat shrink all the wiring. Okay, so I've reattached the new lower section of the head unit on the shaft using the new collar in the reverse order of when I took the old one off. And you see I've got my connections here, I've got my positive to the battery, my negative to the battery, my positive to the motor itself, and the negative to the motor itself. And down here you have your potentiometer switch along with this plate in here. And what you're going to do is just slide the handle onto the end of the switch here. And it sits in that little notch right in there. This is the top section of the head unit with the handle. And then down here in this little swivel, that's where the end of the potentiometer is going to go inside and attach. And then just mount your screws in there again, and it should be good to go. Okay, I've got everything back together, and I've got my 24-volt battery set up. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a turn, see how it goes. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.